Welcome back to Firefly Studios. My name is Katya, and today we are going to continue with our viewer questions. This time someone is asking about how to set up trees with colliders using Unity's terrain feature. So I have a very basic terrain set up here. I put like zero effort into it. Uh, frankly, I haven't done much with terrain in the past as most of my games have been uh, 2D or using uh, 3D models to create my levels in 3D. Um, but I did a little bit of research and terrain's pretty easy to set up. So all you do to set one up is you right click, you go to 3D object, you go down to terrain, then you add your terrain, that's this right here. Then over here you have your settings for painting or if you wanna do a bunch of other stuff with it. Um, in this case, we're talking about trees. So the, after I created my terrain, I need to create my first tree, which is basically used as like a stamp by the paintbrush to paint all these other trees here. So I just right click, go to 3D object and go down to tree. And that added this optimized tree asset. Now, there's a bunch of settings on it. I didn't go into that much because I don't really care if they look good or not. My objective is just to make it so that the collider works with them correctly. Um, but there's a ton of settings here. Um, the only thing I did here is I added this capsule collider. So I just did add component capsule collider. I changed no settings. I just left it, left it on all the default settings. Then after I did that, I went back to my terrain. Then you go over to your tree section and you hit edit trees, add tree. And then I went ahead and added my tree asset that was created for me. So I just searched tree and selected that one. And then I hit add. It says it's already been added. So that's why it won't let me add it again. And then the last part that you need to make sure to do is on the terrain collider component of your terrain, make sure this enable tree collider checkbox is checked. Then uh, in order to paint your trees, you just go over to your paint trees. Then you're given this paintbrush. And then you can just select your tree and paint. And then look, a whole bunch of trees. This effect that you're seeing here is an optimization thing that Unity is doing. So it is billboarding, or if you see all these leaves on these trees, they're all turned to face the camera. All the trees that are not within that circle have not had their billboarding calculation done yet. So that's why you see kind of a change here. It's as it updates. And it's just, you just need it in the kind of general area you're looking at, which is why it's optimized. So it's only... A little bit of the terrain at a time so it doesn't have to do it for all the trees everywhere but i'm gonna hit play and you'll see that i can move around and i will in fact not be able to move through these trees at all so one thing that might have happened if you didn't set it up correctly the first time what do you do if you have a bunch of models or something like that as opposed to set up as prefabs so if I have a whole bunch of 3D objects, I'm gonna just duplicate this uh, cube a lot. I'm gonna duplicate it like that, duplicate it again. This should illustrate the point. So let's say I have a whole bunch of cubes and I wanna make it, now they're all stacked on top of each other, but whatever. I wanna make it so that I can update the collider on all these at once. Well, if you select the top one, hold down shift and select the bottom one, you can just add your collider that way. Additionally, what you can do is come up here to the hierarchy where there's a search bar and just type in cube, and that's gonna show me all my cubes. So for your case, you can just type in tree, then select all your trees, and then do it that way. However, if you did use the terrain painting option to do trees, which I highly recommend, it forces you to use a prefab. So this optimized tree that was created is automatically a prefab my tree prefab right here. So it's very easy to just open up my prefab, add the collider, then it automatically does it for every other tree in your game. I hope you found this interesting. Please uh, ask in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next one.